Hello fellow bookworms. We'll be reading a story inspired by an Irish festival called King Puck, written and illustrated by Mr. Michael Garland. A lonely farmer and his goat Finney seek the chance of a lifetime at the King Puck Festival. Be sure to look for all the fairies hidden on the pages. Are you ready? Let's read the book. Ah, Finney, Seamus said to his goat, we're so lucky. Our mountain is the most beautiful in all of Ireland. It was beautiful, but it was lonely. Only the wee fairies lived nearby. Seamus had no one to talk to but his goat. At night, Seamus liked to read the stories of Finn McCool. The goat loved when the hero giant tasted the magic salmon and gained the gift of wisdom. Finney wanted to be wise too. These stories are a joy, but wouldn't some new books be wonderful? Seamus asked. Then he sighed, wishing for an answer. The fairies began to pity the sad farmer and his goat. One night, while Seamus was asleep, they cast a spell. The next morning, Seamus got the shock of his life. When he said, good morning, to Finney, the goat said, good morning, right back. Then Finney said, I'm famished. What a lovely day it is. The river is up. I wonder if the trout are a biting. How did you learn to speak? Seamus asked. I don't know, replied Finney. Perhaps I learned from you. Seamus was happy, but the fairies weren't finished with their plan. Later that day, the two friends discovered a handbill. The King Puck Festival. What is that? Finney asked. The judges picked the best goat to crown King Puck, the only king in Ireland. It's just for one day, but it's quite an honor. Let's go, cried Finney. Seamus hastily packed some food and proudly brushed Finney's hair. You'll be named King Puck for sure, he exclaimed. Happy, happy and hopeful, they talked and walked all day and night down the mountain path. Look at all those ribbons and flags, Seamus said to Finney as they crossed the bridge into Kilgorgon. And isn't this music splendid? Seamus remarked. Finney clacked his hooves in time to a fancy jig. Suddenly, the music stopped as the farmers and their grand goats entered the square. Now feeling ordinary and a little foolish, Finney joined Seamus at the end of the line. There's the judges were less than impressed with Finney. They turned to walk away when he stepped forward. May I please have another chance? He asked. I'd like to recite the tale of Finn McCool. The P 
people of Kilgorglan had heard the story before, but never told by a goat. When Finney completed the tale, the crowd went wild. The judges had no choice. They picked Finney to be King Puck. With great fanfare, Finney and Seamus led a parade through the narrow streets of town. The crowd cheered as the mayor of Kilgorglan placed a gold crown on Finney's head. I name thee King Puck, the only king in Ireland, he proclaimed. King Puck, as mayor, it is my pleasure to grant you one wish. What will it be? Gold? Silver? A mountain of hay? Finney glanced at Seamus. He knew what they wanted most. Books! he cried. We'd like nothing more than books. The crowd cheered and Finney felt as wise as Finn McCool. Seamus and Finney never wanted for another book or better company. Once a week, Ms. Margaret Mary Carney, the librarian from Kilgorn, drove up the steep mountain with a fresh bag of books. King Puck got his wish, and the fairies were happy too. The end. Look for this fun book and many others at your local library or check out the description below to learn more. If you want to become a Read Along Book Club member, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Until next time.